Oh, Ranger Kooky. Well, where the hell you been, Kooky? Well, uh, a lot. Oh, shit. I've been a lot. So, let's do a little update again. See where you been, Ranger Kooky. I've been going camps, 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 and after this Hurricane Ida, Kaida, Tida, Mida, Ryder, whatever her name is, I gotta go check my camps to make sure they're okay. This would be my first camp to go check and see if this camp is okay. A little clearing a little bit. And I've been doing a lot of stuff lately. Uh, there's not much of camp and it's too hot. It's cooled down a little bit for me to adventure out into the woods. So I'm making a video for you. And the first thing to do is check my camp. Well, the camps. I got tons of camps. And I'm gonna take you with me for each camp and talk to you for a few minutes. Just give you an update where I've been doing lately. Basically nothing. I don't camp in this heat. This this heat kills me. I don't know if I mentioned this, but I have Bell Parsley. Parsley. Bell. There's a name. It's a weird name. And I also allergic to gluten. That was my cough. You always hear me in my old videos. Cough, 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 cough. I stopped eating bread and gluten and I stopped coughing and having high fevers. It's kind of muggy right now and I see the uh, place is really damaged out here. So we're going to check our camps and see how well they did through Hurricane Ida. Now, a lot of people say, oh, Hurricane Katrina was worse. No, I mean, Ida was worse. No, this Hurricane uh, Katrina was worse. I've been through it. I've seen the damage. It had water damage and wind damage. And this is... Oh, this is nothing. Hurricane Katrina was way worse than this one. Way worse. They had water damage. They had trees down for miles and miles and miles. So don't matter if anybody says, oh, Katrina, this one's worse than Katrina, you're wrong. <laughs> Alright, enough of that. Uh, so the window. Uh, just a little update about me. And so, yeah, I don't do a lot of stuff during this heat waves. There's a lot of heat waves the last three months. And it's just way, way too hot for me. The trail was pretty decent. It needs to be a little clearing. Uh, Camp, this is called Camp Davis. A lot of stuff happened to this camp since y'all last saw it. Somebody was coming out here and cleaning the trash out for me. It's very rare somebody comes out here to clean it out. But you see the big difference already. Big, big difference. What it used to look like and what it looks like now. It still needs a lot of cleaning. I hope the person comes back and cleans it more. But, uh, Camp Davis, and here's Thumper's, uh, bed, the A-frame bed that he made out here. It's kind of destroyed a little bit. Um, that's all gone. A lot of stuff is gone now. Uh, a lot of buckets are gone that were over there, and we had... Tons of trash from the last people was out here. I meant 
they trashed this place up so I'm just gonna take a look to see about this chair then we're gonna go to the next camp ah, spider might be dangerous Nope, oh, looks like somebody stole my nope there it is my turlet right there all right my toilet's still here I'm happy the camp survived the hurricane so we're gonna to go to the next camp all right this is camp davis and what it used to look like back in the day go look at my other videos and this is what it looks like today after me and thumper came through here we made a camp for a while and now we're gone we just left it we just Homeless people took over, then some more homeless people took over. This place has been occupied about five times since I have discovered it. Alright, I'll see you next part of the video. I'm going to go ahead and walk you back, talk to you a little bit more maybe. But like I said, I don't do nothing in doing this heat. This heat kills me. And a lot of you agree. Louisiana is hot and stuffy. Why you don't go up north? Well, you need at least four to five days off to go up north. You know, one day out, one day in, two day stay. I mean, you can't do that. I can't go up north. Because you got to have some type of pleasure. You just the minute you get there, you have to go back home. So I don't go north for, to do anything. And I'm waiting for it to get cold or cool for me to venture into the woods again um, okay uh, I think I haven't talked enough i uh, show you my dergs I'm missing puddles I left her at home too many dogs it's just too much for me sometimes so I left one at home all right we're gonna go to the other camp it's called hobo paradise see you there <laughs> 